I'm going to be real with y'all. I was just having a conversation with God. And I I talked about, you know, the whole kingdom husband and kingdom wife journey. And how it's not for the weak. Because there's so much warfare that intervenes from the very beginning to the point where, like... One party or both parties will make mistakes when it comes to each other. Because, like, both parties may not know they're meant for each other until God says something. But they may not be sensitive enough to hear God speaking to them to get the confirmation until later on. When there's so much interference... I don't know if y'all y'all understand how crazy worth it can be. When there's so much interference, sometimes you feel fogged. When it comes to your gifts. Like you literally feel feel fog, guys. I'm literally at Crate and Barrel again. I need to stop going to this store. I don't know if this is like a therapy thing. But I'm filming it on my vlog. Because I am keep coming back to this store. I'm always like, oh, I forgot this. I forgot that. I'm back for the cookie jars. The cookie jars. But anyways. um, Yes, yeah, so I'm just like. I don't think y'all understand. Like when warfare is so heavy. You sometimes can feel fogged. Where... You're hearing God's voice and you're seeing visions still, but sometimes you're going to hear interferences in between. Many of you guys may hear like witches laughing or you may hear like, you know, other people. You may even hear the counterfeits in the spirit. Okay, like it's that deep. You'll hear the counterfeits in the spirit. They may call you out your name, not even out your name because that's not your name. They will call you like the B word. They'll call you like names. They'll even like mock you in the spirit and you have to rebuke and denounce and cancel them, right? it's very it's a headache so sometimes also the enemy will like taunt you with whatever happened in the past with your kingdom person so it's like the enemy will taunt you and be like guess what your person did four years ago three years ago two years ago and the people that are doing the witchcraft they will taunt you with these this information because let me tell you something about witches and warlocks they they the reason why they stalk you and they monitor you is because they need to gather information about you to use against you that's why they monitor and stalk you a lot of them they'll send monitoring spirits that report back to them okay let me tell you what happened to me last night and my kingdom husband i'm gonna keep it real i gotta be raw with you guys about this so there's these witches that attack me and attack him he and i are very communicative in the spirit like we, we communicate a lot in spirit they were doing this smoke magic and with the smoke magic that they do and i'm gonna do a video describing each signs of witchcraft but the reason why i haven't done that yet and done a long video is because i want to do an individual for each symptom so because each symptom has a list of its own literally <laughs> you get what i'm saying so i need to like get my house and organized and ready and then i'll sit down and film these videos for y'all but they did the smoke magic yesterday basically the smoke magic is like when they try to kill you in your sleep with smoke and how you'll know that ha that's happening to you is when they burn your photo on paper or when they have smoke around your photo it's like they're trying to suffocate you in your sleep. So what will happen is you'll start coughing in your sleep and you'll start smelling smoke. You will think that your house is on fire or your house is burning. Like you'll start literally smelling smoke. So I was smelling the smoke last night, but my house wasn't on fire. So I started rebuking, canceling, denouncing. And I started coughing out of my sleep. And I'm like, oh, man, they're back with the smoke magic. They do that. Because they do that to try to choke you, right? But God always wakes me up, obviously, before anything happens. He wakes me up. But when he wakes me up, I'm still coughing as I'm waking up, literally. And, you know, I know I'm helping someone right now because someone's going through this and they didn't know what it was. You're welcome. That's why I'm here. <laughs> That's why God put me here. That's why I can never I can never give up on, on this channel because I know a lot of you guys need this information. I know and I love you guys too much to just leave you just hanging and not giving you the, the understanding what's happening to many of you guys. But so I was coughing and I had to get up and I had to rebuke, denounce, cancel. So as I was laying back down, 
as I was laying back down. This is not even why I made the video, by the way. I just started talking. This this went to a whole other category. <laughs> See, I'm so sorry. But um, so as I was laying back down now after I prayed, it went away. But as I was laying down, I literally was tapping back into the spirit. Like I could feel my body going back into the spirit. So like my everything, my body, my spirit, everything going back into the spirit. You know, when you're like halfway asleep, but you're not asleep, you can feel yourself transitioning into the spirit. So as I was transitioning back into the spirit, I'm still awake though, right? So I, I'm still like awake and I'm alert that I'm awake, but I'm alert that I'm also transitioning back into the spirit. I started hearing my kingdom husband coughing. So that's when the Holy Spirit came through and he was letting me know they're doing the same thing to him. So there was this, there's a specific witch that's targeting both of us. Um... As I started hearing him coughing, I started praying over him. And I started rebuking, counseling, denouncing. After I prayed over him, he stopped coughing. I heard him stop coughing. And then once he stopped coughing, we started communicating. So this is why I tell y'all it's so important to pray over your partner. Because you have no idea the type of authority you have. Despite what's happening between you guys. Despite what happened in the past. Despite what's going on. Understand that if both of you guys have a better understanding of what's going on now. Then leave it behind you and just focused on helping each other praying for each other you know i'm being emotional again man i'm being emotional all day um <laughs> so that's what they were doing to us last night you know so i wanted to share that with y'all to let you guys know like how crazy our situation really is like there's a lot of witchcraft involved in our situation um but yeah, that was not why I made this video. But I just thought I would share that. I feel like somebody had to hear that. That's why. Because little arrow was first to say share it. So I'm like, okay, I feel like somebody had to hear that because someone's going through that specific symptom. Anyways, as I was saying before, a lot of witches and warlocks will send spirits to monitor you. And they need to have information about you to use against you. So when they have a lot of information about you they can revolve their magic around all the information that they have about you in order to manipulate you antagonize you poke at you torment you because if they can you know if they can show you information if they can torment you with information about you in the spirit you'll literally think it's real you'll literally think it's real because you're like how else would they know this it has to be real. So it's like they'll trick you to make you think that God is God is the one showing you this thing or God is the one telling you. Let me give you an example. So let's just say that you know you're asking God, God, is this the person for me? Yes or no? And God has already showed you it's the person for you. But let's just say there's a witch that's trying to block you out from being together, right? That witch will start doing something, some type of magic revolving around an altercation that you and your kingdom partner may have had. And when she does the magic revolving around that, you'll start seeing the altercation in the spirit. And then you're because you don't know that they can do this type of stuff, you may think it's God showing it to you, and then you may get triggered, and then you may get mad at them. Now you don't want to talk to them, you may get upset at them, you may argue with them. They may do the same thing to your partner, and your partner gets upset at you. So it's like they both it's like they team tag against you, both of you, to like put you guys against each other, right? But this is what's crazy. This is what the whole point of me making a video in the first place is you guys go through so much in the past. You know, when you when there is a lot of manipulation going on and both parties have come finally come to their senses and both parties are finally ready, sometimes it's hard to believe that sometimes it's hard not to believe some of the negative things that the enemy will try to manipulate you with only because you were hurt in the past do you see what i'm saying because you've been hurt before it's hard not to believe the manipulation sometimes and this is you know this is why um you know it's so important that if you do see anything or hear anything in the spirit you you confirm it with god and it's so important that you go into a fast, even if it's like a 24-hour fast or a 48-hour fast, because if you're fogged and you're not receiving instructions clearly or answers clearly, you may believe the manipulations, you may believe the negativity, and then you may believe negative things about your person. And if your person did do things in the past to hurt you because they were unaware that you were the person or you were unaware they were the person or you guys were just both not mature, right? It may be hard to believe that they've changed when they actually changed because of what you experienced and the hurt that you've experienced, right? So I was talking to God about this, like, you know, it is hard sometimes for a lot of us to 
believe the change if we're experiencing so we're experiencing so much manipulation and and fighting witchcraft and all of that at the same time and it's almost like you know because you don't want to be hurt again you don't want to be played for a fool again so when a witch comes in and tries to twist things and tor and torment you or twist things to make you upset at your person it's almost like you almost believe it sometimes because you've already been through something similar to that even if it's not about the person that you're supposed to be with because you've been through something in the past like similar to that you then you start to like question oh my gosh god am i gonna go through this again i don't want to go through this again because you don't want to go through heartache no more you don't want to go through pain no more right? you want to avoid that right so yeah just whenever you're experiencing this this way this journey is not for the weak when you're experiencing certain things just make sure that you go to god and make sure that you pray on it and before you react on it because i did see someone say that they were upset at their kingdom partner sometimes and in the spirit they get upset at each other but sometimes they will do things in the spirit to get both of you guys to fight i remember one time someone came in the spirit and they literally were pretend they were pretending to be him and it wasn't even my kingdom husband but they were they were masquerading as him and i thought it was him and i got so mad in the spirit i started yelling at him and i started crying and as i started crying the real him came and then I realized that was a freaking masqueraded spirit. And I literally started hearing this witch laughing. And as I would hear this witch laughing, I was like, no way they can manipulate like that in the spirit. And that's when I knew like the manipulation in the spirit is real. People don't people have no idea that there's layers to this stuff. Okay. The manipulation in the spirit is real. There's layers to it. Sometimes what you see is not what's actually there. There's something pretending to be what it is you're seeing in the spirit. So you got to confirm everything with God. But they do a lot of manipulation to mess with your emotions and to make you, you know, feel discouraged about going into your kingdom marriage or coming into that that union when it's time for god to bring y'all together or to make you even question whether you want to be with the person anymore they like, do so much things to mess with your emotions i just wanted to share that but yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys anyways love you guys bye